Hello viewers, in this video I am going to cover important questions for the course software engineering, I mean SE under J2H for R18 as well as R16 regulation for computer science engineering and information technology. Dear students, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do it immediately by pressing the bell icon, you'll be receiving your updated notifications of all the videos which I am going to upload for you. The first and foremost question I can give you is the term defined software engineering may be a two and three mark question. Software development cycle, SDLC, various activities and legacy software and its impact in the software engineering may be a gun short question. Dear students, as per the pattern, you will be getting short questions as well as the long questions from the questions which I am going to highlight for you all. Evolving role of software is said to be a gun short question. Software process, need of software process improvement is also said to be a fine equation system modeling process of creating model and factors that should be considered when uh, building a model is said to be one of the top most questions cmmi and the specialized process models from this part will be getting 1a as well as 2a as well as 2b as the course is all about the theory you'll be getting two parts i mean the two questions from the long questions i mean 2a 2b and 3a 3b i am going to let you know now 3a 3b for you all the various myths about software is said to be a two mark three mark question waterfall model versus spiral and it is said to be a gunshot question which is repeatedly asked you may be getting this as well as unified process and the four places and work workflows is also said to be a topmost question evolutionary process models capability maturity models and the function versus object oriented design is also said to be a topmost question process of requirement management and the software requirement document along with the need sketch is said to be a 3a as well as 3b questions dear students if you don't know how to write a 3d paper a uh, video is being posted in my channel please go through it and work out accordingly by writing in bulletin points you'll be getting good marks and do not write in paragraph the next question i'm going to work out for you all is 4a as well as 4b the various tasks in requirement engineering discuss srd and the requirement elicitation and management is said to be a topmost question related to elicitation data flow model it's along with the example explain it and its characteristics may be also two mark three mark question transaction flow mapping i'll explain in detail and ck matrices related to matrices suit you are going to get one question for sure and the black box text detecting and the function and non-function requirements still here you may be getting 4a as well as 4b feasibility study define the term maybe two mark three mark desirable characteristics of a good software requirement specialization and validity validation process and its requirement also may be a two mark three mark question draw the complete dfd at least up to two levels for a uh, library management system and ISO versus SECMM models and its differences, user and system requirement, user requirements and the system requirements definition as well as the differences, types of feasibility study may be a two marks, three mark question and the context level model draw and its general problems will be asked based on the context level model, validate requirements and the steps performed by Analysting in the behavioral model system, the term behavior model system is also said to be a topmost question. From this, you may be getting 5A as well as 5B dear students. Let's jump into the unit 3. As the course is too lengthy in structure, they may be asking you in-depth questions and even in general questions also to frame out the part of the course software engineering, the software architecture and the various styles and patterns is said to be a topmost question, which may be a 6A question. The process of mapping data flow in the software architect as well as design process and the various uh, design and quality uh, guidelines and the goals of a design process may be a two mark three mark question sqa activities assessing risk mode impact as well as data design and the guidelines may be also topmost question commonly used architecture styles system modeling case based components and the study for till here we're getting 5a as well as 5b do not skip sorry 6a as well as 6b do not skip any part of the question which i have highlighted here it's all because this tool and then it's structured will be asked anywhere any part you are supposed to work out all the five units if you are looking for a scoring and if you want to just pass you are supposed to work out any three with three units you are supposed to work i'm going to let you know by the end of the video please do not skip the part which i am going to highlight in the coming questions map data flow analysis model versus design model may be said to be a differences and the important question architect pattern versus framework such questions will be asked in two mark three mark dear students user interface design 
as well as conceptual model of UMI and the class and the sequence diagrams related to the diagram. They will be asking the general questions and you need to frame what to work out it. This is said to be a 7A as well as 7B. Dear students, you can work out the unit 1 first. It's because it's all about the introduction and the basic concepts which you are supposed to know before going to work out the remaining units. You do perform well in the unit 1 as well as the unit 2 in the beginning art of debugging and the process of debugging related to it through marker and 3 mark question which I am going to work out for you all even now 8A, 8B as well as 9A, 9B matrices for software quality ISO 9000 quality standards is said to be a top most question need of beta testing maybe 2 mark, 3 mark testing strategies for connectional software maybe a top most and the uh, the fine mark question, smoke testing and matrices of source code and the black box and the white box testing and their differences may be a topmost question. Till here we can expect 8 a as well as 8B. Now I'm going to work out for you all 9A, 9B, validation testing versus system testing and the differences, matrices of testing, matrices of maintenance, software quality and define the term may be a 2 mark, 3 mark question, strategies approach to software testing and test strategies for conventional software may be 9A as well as 9B question. Dear students, you are supposed to work out each and every parameter which I am going to highlight in form of star mark. It's all been taken into consideration from the previous year question papers as well as the syllabus of software engineering. The next question is all about 10A as well as 10B. Risk components versus risk drives is said to be a topmost and the differences part which may be asked in 10A software quality assurance and the reliability may be a two mark three mark question. Relative uh, reactive versus proactive risk. Uh, strategies also may be a two mark three mark question software measurements and the factors affect the software quality may be a topmost and the 9a and 9b till here steps for risk projection format of risk projection risk information sheet and the activities of software quality assurance group may be a long question software review may be a two mark three mark categories of risk may be a top question and estimate the technical and the formal technical reviews may be a topmost and one short question which may occur in the question paper as 11A as well as 11B. These are the very important questions which I have taken into consideration by referring the previous year question papers as well as the syllabus of the course software engineering. You are supposed to work out, for example, a part A consists of a to J, you are supposed to work out from A to J together in the booklet given by you by the university. You are not supposed to write mixing up of part B as well as part A later. If you are good at part B, dear students, please do work out with the part B. I mean from 2A to B2, you have 11A, 11B, radius going from each unit, you'll be getting two questions or 3A as well as 3B. If you are good at 2A, 2B, you are supposed to work out only 2A, 2B. And if you are good at this, you are supposed to work out a student, maybe some students were raising question, I am good at 2A and I am good at 3A. You are not supposed to work out 2A and 3A. Dear students, it is an option in between or you are supposed to work out either 2A, B or 3A, B completely. Failing which, you are not going to evaluate 3A, that is extra question and you have only three hours of time even for this pattern and this pattern is still lengthy in structure you need to concentrate on the short questions as well as the long questions so you are going to work out unit one first later unit two and then later unit three so on sorry unit four then you work out either three or five even the fifth unit is also very short in structure you can go even to the fifth unit a student want to pass this course need to work out one two and four in the beginning later three and five if you're looking to score our good marks in the subject dear students if you're skipping any part of the question or any corner part of the uh, the syllabus you cannot attempt two mark three mark as well as a long question it leads to the failure in the course software engineering not only in this in all the courses of engineering from now as the question paper pattern is part a as well as part b hope you are going to like my videos and subscribe to my channel and this is your chindu gaud signing off for today thank you